Uh, the definition of feminism is equality between men and women, if you look it up on Google. In this presentation, I'm going to prove to you that that in 2016 is not the case. There was a first wave of feminism, the suffragettes who campaigned for the vote and for equality. And then there was second wave feminism in around the 60s, campaigning for equality in, sort of, in domestic gender roles and things like that. So, and then recently there's been a third wave, third wave feminism who have consistently lied about things. For example, the Thanks. wage gap between men and women. That is a lie. 77 cents to the dollar is a lie. It doesn't take into account the different hours worked by men and women on average in jobs. It doesn't take into account the different jobs that men and women do. And it doesn't take into account a many, many other factors. Once you factor all these in, it is statistically irrelevant. Preach. The wage gap. This is just one example of the lies that <laughs> perpetrated by modern third-wave feminism. They hate free speech. They don't like it when their opinions are challenged. They try to ban words like bossy, and they try to ban things on Twitter. They try to ban people from having their opinion. They don't like other people's opinions. The imbalances on people have flipped, and feminism says that it's about equality, but I've never once seen a feminist campaign against the fact that, on average, women, if they a man, they get two years, three years in jail. But if it happens the other way around, it's 20 years. Surely if they're about equality, shouldn't it be the same for both genders? But gender Facts. imbalances include the massive suicide rate of men under 30. I've never heard a feminist or a third wave feminist once speak about how bad this is. It's not about equality. It's not. It's about lying. Thank you very much. Any <laughs> questions? Welcome to another episode of Manfulness. As you've just seen in the video, today, we'll start with how this teenager roasts his feminist teacher by revealing the true picture of feminism as he describes the different waves of feminism and what they truly meant. He first explains that the definition of feminism is equality between men and women. He then goes on to talk about the suffragettes. Just to give you a brief overview of what that is, the suffragettes were part of the Votes for Women campaign that had long fought for the right of women to vote in the UK. They used art, debate, propaganda, and attack on property including window smashing and arson to fight for female suffrage. Suffrage means the right to vote in parliamentary and general elections. He talks about the first wave of feminism and the second wave of feminism around the 1960s when women campaigned for equality in domestic gender roles and things like that. Then, he talks about the third wave of feminism and this is where he reveals the nature of feminism as he says that in this third wave, feminists have consistently lied about things for example the wage gap between men and women that is a lie. The whole idea of 77 cents to the dollar is a lie. He says that feminism doesn't take into account the different hours worked by men and women on average in jobs. It doesn't take into account the different jobs that men and women do, nor does it consider many other factors. Once you factor all these in it, is statistically irrelevant. This is just one example of the lies perpetrated by modern third-wave feminism, they hate free speech. They don't like it when their opinions are challenged. They try to ban words like bossy and they try to ban things on Twitter. They try to ban people from having their opinion. They don't like other people's opinions. The imbalances among people have flipped and feminism says that it's about equality, but I've never once in a feminist campaign against the fact that an average woman if they were a man gets two years to three years in jail, but if it happens another way around it's 20 years surely if they're about equality shouldn't it be the same for both genders, but gender imbalances include the massive suicide rate of men under 30. This also reminds me of something Jordan Peterson said in one of his famous interviews. Women want equality, but they don't it across the board. They want to be the CEO and be paid the same salary as a CEO, but they don't want to work in construction with other men. That's selective equality. What this boy is talking about in class makes complete sense. Women pick and choose a mere 1% of the male population that is highly driven, highly competitive, and highly capable, consisting of CEOs and leaders of large organizations, and compare that with all of the women. That's why the third wave of feminism is based on lies. Created because there was an imbalance. 
Yeah. And originally it was the, the imbalance between men and women. This is the, the teacher. The idea now is not feminism being an imbalance of gender, but being equality of all. Um, you talk a lot about men versus women, but what about people who call themselves transgender? What about people that perhaps don't identify with a gender at all? But the teacher keeps changing her opinion in the video and keeps talking about other things, deflecting from the solid points the teenager is making in class. She starts talking about transgender and all the other people who are not represented by an influential group. She says those are also part of feminism, so why shouldn't they be considered feminists as well? The boy schools her again, tells her the definition, and tells her that feminism is primarily a male versus female sort of ideology where females hope to be liberated by traditional values that held them back from basic rights such as voting and the ability to be part of a nation's economy. If you look up the definition of feminism, it's all about the push for women's rights and equality between men and women. Just because you say you are something doesn't mean that that's what the movement is about. So I could say that I'm a, a radical jihadist. Doesn't mean that I'm a radical jihadist. <laughs> Next, he gives a great example of how saying that you're a feminist or whatever group you belong to doesn't automatically mean that you represent that group. He then talks about the hypocrisy of women having equality for all doesn't mean that they actually want equality for all. So, here's the thing, guys. First, full marks to the teenager who has done his homework and presents his arguments with facts. He's sure to become a leader. The whole idea behind women empowerment was to actually empower women to vote, to be part of the economic engine running a country, to be able to earn, and to be able to function as more productive members of society. However, through the decades, the whole idea of feminism turned extreme and changed at a movement that hates men and only wants selective equality. These women want to be leaders and decision makers but don't want to go through the same obstacles that men have gone through to get to that stage. I mean, just today, I read an article where the famous Jennifer Lawrence was complaining about how she received $5 million less than what Leonardo DiCaprio earned for the movie, Don't Look Up. Granted, Jennifer Lawrence is a great actor, but she isn't as great as DiCaprio is. He's a brand and pulls in a lot of audience to anything he does. And another thing that Lawrence fails to mention is that she still earned more than anyone else in the cast and the director and producer for the movie. But no. She complains because there's one guy who earned more and who happens to be a global star. That should tell you everything about feminists. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching Manfulness.